Welcome to my studio. This is the pop-up studio. And it's me, Matthew Reinhardt. I'm a pop-up book creator, children's book author, and illustrator, and also an avid crafter, just like you. And I want to welcome you to my studio today. Today, we're going to make something really fun. I've always loved seeing how people make ships in the bottle. And so um, I thought it'd be really fun to make a pop-up ship in the bottle. So see, it is, you don't know what it is, you don't know what's in there. Look at that, and then you pull it up. It's a little ship. So you can make it disassemble and reassemble again inside the bottle. You can make it a pirate ship, arr, or you can make it, you know, just any any other kind of ship. But I thought it'd be really fun to make this together. It's a cool craft. You're gonna need, you know, for this craft, aside from cardstock and glue and like, you know, cutting tools and all that stuff that we usually use in our crafts, we're also gonna need uh, a glue gun. You're gonna need a one liter bottle of some sort of drink that you get to drink beforehand. Lucky you! You know, go, go, go. Then we'll let it dry and we're gonna use the bottle after we're done with this. And we're gonna make our cool pop-up chip in a bottle. Sail the seven seas. Uh, anyways, we're gonna make this together. Um, so let's get started. There we are, both templates. Two pages on regular cardstock. This is just colored cardstock. Download uh, the link below, print it out onto cardstock of any color that you like and then we'll get to cutting these out and scoring. So what do we usually cut with? Well, we can use a craft knife like this um, or X-Acto knife or whatever you want to call it. You could use scissors, but I would suggest using a craft knife just because we can get some of these little picky areas. Okay, so we're gonna score them first, right? Remember, we score using straight edge and a knitting needle, or we can also use a big old paper clip instead of the knitting needle. All right, so let's get to doing that. We'll do it real fast and then we'll get to assembling. Arg. All right, so I've cut out all the pieces here you can see them all here all right so we're going to look at just one piece in particular it's this piece and it says template for two ship sails please trace and cut two of these pieces on regular printer paper so we're going to make two in this shape with regular old paper regular printer paper you could use any color you want you could also use tissue paper if you like because if we use cardstock like this it the this is going to be the sail and it's just not going to be able to curve as much so let's Let's get some printer paper and we'll do that. Okay, here's some just regular old paper. And I'm gonna just trace cut this using a pair of scissors. So as I just lay the piece over the piece I wanna cut, and I just follow the shape by cutting around, tracing it, but with a cutting tool. So there we go, there's one piece. There's one, and let's do one more. Just like that, perfect. There we go, two pieces. So we got two sail pieces that are cut from that one template. And when you're done with this, you can pitch it. We don't need it. All right, let's get to assembling. Let's start. A lot of these pieces glue onto themselves, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're going to fold a lot of these pieces over, like this one. It's gonna fold over and glue onto itself. Just put a little glue here, and it just says glue it over, K over onto itself, just like that. And press that down. And then this glue L, we're gonna glue it over onto itself. Super easy, right? And you can see I'm sort of like, I'm sort of moving the glue all around the space so that it gets on every part so you don't leave a little section unglued. All right, and this little tab here, that sticks up just like that. Super easy. All right, now this one, this one's gonna be interesting. We're gonna fold it triple over onto itself, kind of like that. So let's do that first. Put a little glue here. And then we need to glue it. It triples over, actually. We need it like just a little stronger. And the reason why, uh, it's gonna be pushing up our sails. So that's what that's gonna do. And then see this little box here, this little glue M? We're gonna just put that little square, fill it with glue, and we're gonna fold it over onto itself. Okay, so this is how this piece should end up looking. All right, let's get on to some other parts. Now look at this big piece. This is gonna be our base, all right? The base actually folds onto itself and you can see that there are slots on the back or whatever so that we can let pieces go through. 
Look at that. So we're just going to put some glue on this side and it's gonna fold over and glue onto itself. And I've just folded this piece onto itself and I'm pressing it down into place. Look at that. It's just gonna give it some extra strength. Okay, there's our pieces that we've already glued. There's our, there's our sails. Hey, this piece here, this long piece here, this folds, this is what it looks like before we fold it. It folds over onto itself. Oh, we could fold it over onto itself going this way. How about that? That's nice. So let's do that. This is gonna be our pull tab. So we're just gonna put some glue in there. Fold it over onto itself. And just press it. And we'll leave that be and let that dry. That piece is great. Let's glue these pieces in. Okay, so these are pretty obvious. This says glue P here, and that is P. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna glue it actually onto itself and fold it back like that. So let's put some glue just right here on tab P. We're going out of alphabetical order, which is totally fine. The main reason why we put the letters there is to just identify, you know, where the piece is going to go. So there's one side. Here's the other one. It says tab O. We're gonna fold it over and, and see where it goes. It goes right there. Put glue on tab O. These are gonna become the sides of the ship. All right, so we've got these pieces. They're all glued down and ready. Let's go on to the next part. This piece here, this, let's look at this piece. This piece actually has two pieces that fold over onto itself as well. So let's do that. We're gonna just glue these down onto themselves. And I fold it over both, both sides. See how that folds over and glues to itself? This goes, we take this big piece, turn it over, and we glue this onto this side. That fits perfectly in place. So let's do that. Mari. And then, gonna put it in place. Look at how perfectly that fits. Now, the only part that doesn't fit, okay, so this piece comes up because that's gonna, something's gonna glue upwards from there, right? Something's gonna attach right there. So we don't wanna glue that down. Make sure that tab is up. The other thing you're gonna see is this edge comes over just a little bit more than where this folds. And there's a reason why I did that. It's mainly because I, I want it to always be stuck on top of that. So that piece is all ready to go. All right, so next, remember this really weird, long, funky piece? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it, we're just gonna put it through this hole in this piece that we just glued. And what we're gonna do is, see this tab here? It says tab S. And if you look really closely on here, it says glue tab S under here. So it's actually a slit. This piece here is, which is tab S, it's gonna go into this slit right here. See that little slit? It's right there. So we're gonna go back here. See, there's the tab S. I'm just gonna glue it down. Let's put a little glue right there. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. And there we go, that piece is all set. Now, I've turned, this is the way we initially wanna have it, but we're gonna take it, we're gonna move this up here. And look, I'm just gonna turn it over. And you're gonna see, it says, glue tab G, glue tab G. Where's tab G, where's tab? Here's tab G, there's two of them. And what we're gonna do is we're going to, we got a lot of slipping in and out of this, right? And let's put some glue on these tab, glue tab G areas, just like that. I know it's complicated, but trust me, it's gonna be good in the end. We're gonna stick this going through as well. So see those tabs just fit right in place, just like that. Now we can kind of turn this into the direction it's supposed to be. So now we have those two G tabs glued in place and it says, see it says tab H. Tab H goes right under there. See it says glue tab H under here, there's a slit. So here's what we gotta do. We're gonna put that tab H and see how I'm sliding it through that slit and it's going underneath. Perfect, that's where tab H goes. There's tab H and you know what? There's another tab, there's tab I. See right there, this piece is tab I. And that is going to slip right through this slot that says glue tab I under here. So you slide it through the slit, tab I, perfectly. So now look at that, that fits perfectly and these tabs will eventually, tab Q, tab Q will go right there. So those will eventually go into place. But let's turn these over, make sure our tabs are correctly positioned. They look pretty good. 
And then let's put some glue underneath them. Glue under there. Tab H and tab I in place, ready to go. All right, let's go on to the next step. Remember this long piece? We're gonna turn it kind of facing this way. So see, it should go all the way down this way. And then this piece here should glue right in place right there. So I'm just gonna put some glue right on there. And it glues right like that. Then we fold it over and look at that shape. See this shape right here? This one right here, this one? That should fit right in place. Look at that. It fits perfectly right there. So now we'll glue that down. And this is gonna be the masts for our little um, sails. And so what's gonna happen once these all glue and once these things can move better is watch. That's gonna push up. See that little piece under there that pushes up? Look, and our sails are gonna be built off of those masts. So that's part of the whole shebang right there. All right, so we've got those pieces put in. We've got those glues down. Let's do, okay, let's get this large piece here. This piece is next. We're gonna, well first let's slide it through here. Like that, see that shape? It's gonna go right like that. And then this piece, we just need to make it go up and under, okay? So now we're gonna have this tab and that's nice and strong and it'll be hidden away. So let's put some glue on this tab C because this is where tab C is supposed to glue. And we're gonna make sure it lines up perfectly. So I'm gonna just, that's what's so nice about this is you can get that point perfectly and pinch the point and then when you're, you're letting it lay flat, you can kind of move this around so that it just, it's right at the center there. So that's nice. So we're gonna let that dry for a second and then we're gonna glue the next part. This craft is sponsored by Inside Editions, home of Reinhardt Pop-Up Studio. Pikachu, I choose you. Bring your beloved Pokemon friends to life in this unique collection of paper crafts inspired by the rich world of Pokemon. From DIY pop-up creations to paper cut decorations, Bring the world of Pokemon into your home with this book of colorful, fun paper craft projects. Easy to follow illustrated instructions and press out templates on sturdy paper help even beginning crafters achieve impressive results. Now available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, and independent bookstores everywhere. Be sure to go directly to the source, InsideEditions.com, where you can find this book and so much more. All right, let's get back to the craft. Now we need to put, there's a piece that goes under here. And let's, th let's look for that piece. So we're gonna, first, we're gonna put tab D in place. But okay, so this piece here, this is tab D. And tab D goes right there. So let's glue it in place. It's super easy. So we'll put it in place. There we go. That's beautiful. It's looking good. That goes there. Let's just make sure that everything, the thing is, you gotta be careful when you glue that piece down because we don't wanna glue, we don't wanna glue these down because those need to move. We just want within this shape here to glue. So when you glue it down, press it into place, but then pull up these tabs just to make sure that they can come up because we need them to be flexy, flexible. Next up, we are going to glue these tabs, this and this, go right there, there and there. That's tab F and tab E. Put some glue on these little guys, they kind of fold over onto themselves. This is gonna become the bow of the ship, just like that. And once you have it, let it dry a little bit. Look, it should it should kind of like be able to fold up like that. And that's gonna be the bow of the ship. And this is gonna go, wait, I've seen this shape before. I've seen this shape. I wonder where that's gonna go. Oh, it goes right there. But first, let's put a little glue on this triangle underneath because we're gonna, you're gonna see that there's a triangle. Look under here. There's that triangle that we need to we need to put that on. So let's just line it up. There we go. Perfect. And that this piece should fit right underneath there. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna press that into place. Okay. So see how that's glued underneath? That's glued to here, and this is glued to the base piece. So let's let that glue for a second. Let that dry, and then we'll put the sails on and test everything. Okay, I let that dry and we can see that, look, it's starting to pull up. Everything's starting to work, but we forgot to glue some tabs down. So let's glue these two tabs, tab R and Q. 
and they just fit right in place. I didn't want to, I wanted to wait a little bit to do that. Let's glue them in place. Just press it down. Everything should go pretty flat. All right, now while those guys are dry, drying, let's see, they're drying. Ooh, look at that, the boat's coming together. Oh, it looks so cool. All right, so what are we missing on our boat? Hmm, we're missing our sails, so we gotta put the sails on. So, first, let's put the sails on this interior part. That's gonna be the harder one. So first what we need to do, we gotta put a little glue, like a little dot there, and we're gonna put a little dot down here on this piece. See, I put a little dot there, a little dot there. And we're gonna move it and in the center. So, see that little tab? That's gonna glue to the inside. And then this piece down below and go right there. So now, okay, there we go. Does it fold over? Yep, it's glued in place. Let's check that out, let's check that out. We glued it in place. Oh, don't make sure you don't glue the other mask down. Let's put something in there to make sure it's not all glued down to itself. Sometimes you gotta be careful of that. Oh, there's one. There's one sail. Look at how that's, see how that's attached? All right, let's do the other one. Super easy. This one's great because it just folds over onto itself like that, or we can do it just like that. There we go. So that is gonna go right on top like that. And then this tab just will glue. I think we should glue it behind it so we have a nice, clean looking sail so it's gonna glue just like that press it and let's pull our tab look oh my gosh ready to sail the seven seas look at that and it goes from flat to boat and that cool so we're gonna put that inside of our um our bottle but let's get to that, that part's next. Uh, um, you know what actually I think we should do? I'm gonna put some blue paper on it so that it looks real nice. So let me, let me work on that real quick and then we'll get on to the next part. All right, look at that. I added a little water on the outside. So that's where the water is and we pull it tab. Like, Ooh, there's a boat on the water. Okay, so I made it this shape because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this inside a one liter container, a bottle. Okay, so we're gonna drink all of this, <laughs> let it dry, and then we're gonna slice a bit off of it, okay? So you need a one liter bottle to fit. It's gonna fit like right on side, so. All right, let's get to doing that. Okay, so what I did was I took my bottle, right? I dried it out. I sliced it off so that you can see. Maybe uh, my amazing editor will make an outline of the shape here that I cut off. And what we're gonna need to do is get our um, glue gun. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue it to our pop. See, we're gonna fit our pop on the inside and we're gonna glue it with a glue gun right on these edges here and here and here. So I'm gonna get out my old faithful glue gun we're gonna glue it on, and once it's on, and it's all, we can be able to pull it, and it'll open, isn't that cool? All right, let me get my glue gun. See how I'm laying it down there? I'm just gonna trace a little on the outside with a pencil, very lightly, onto our paper. All right, so now you can see the real light shape. Can you see that? It's a real light shape to follow. We're just gonna put glue on certain parts. We're not gonna put glue as much here as we are on the front and the back, just because that way, in case there's an issue, we can get into the bottle. All right, so you can see, there's where I'm gonna glue up there, I'm gonna glue down here. And I'm gonna put some glue, I'm gonna make a trail right here. The thing about hot glue is you gotta move quick, gotta move quick. Let's get everything inside. Okay, there's one side. Okay, we got one side done. Phew! All right, now we gotta make sure we're gonna make sure that this side goes in. Now this side, we're gonna have to pull up a little. So we're gonna pull it up just a bit, and we're gonna put some glue actually on the bottle itself. And then we're gonna glue it down just like that. I'm gonna hold it. And now if you want, like now that we've sort of got it positioned, see now it's sticking on there. Strengthen it by putting a little bit more on. Put a little more on. But don't let a moron like me mess up your craft. So this is 
our pop-up ship in a bottle. Look at that. And so we've, we've added the bottle on top. We have the pop-up pieces inside. And you can display it on your desk or you can give it to somebody. You could decorate the boat more. I just wanted to keep it real simple for this one. But I just love that it can go from flat to, to popped. Ahoy, matey! Yarg! Uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot of real piratey. Yeah, that's real good. But it's cool. It's cool. You could make that a pirate ship. It could be any kind of ship that you want it to be. Whoa, mateys! I hope you enjoyed making this pop-up ship in a bottle with me. I just love it. Look at it. It was so cool. Anyways, um, I hope you had fun uh, doing this with me because I had fun designing it. Um, Hey, on your way out, could you do me a favor, please? Could you hit that like button and click subscribe down below? It really helps with the YouTube algorithm rhythm and it gets our videos out there. So, um, you know, everything we do here is thanks to you. Uh, I wouldn't be here on YouTube if it wasn't for you all watching. So thank you. Um, I love you very much. This is Matthew Reinhardt. Um, remember, be kind to a stranger today. Think creatively and keep it popping. Ooh. Have a ship shape day, y'all. Bye. Is that what you say, ship shape? Have a ship top? That's a word, ship shape? I don't know.